This is Miriam Tucker reporting from a meeting of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. Today the ACIP voted to recommend the use of PCV13, the conjugate pneumococcal vaccine, in, in patients who have immunocompromising conditions. Um, this is a very important recommendation because the incidence of disease in those populations is quite high. Next steps um, involve uh, several things. One is that we are interested in whether or not this vaccine should be used in the general population over the age of 50. Um, at the February ACIP meeting, the decision was made to hold off on making recommendations for that age group until we had two additional pieces of information. The first was to look at uh, the impact of vaccinating children on adults, that is the herd effects. Um, and today we saw data presented which show that indeed um, there is already evidence of a significant impact on adults uh, by vaccinating children with PCV13. Uh, so we'll be continuing to follow those data and see where they go over the course of the next year or so. The second piece of evidence that the committee uh, would like to see um, are the results of a study that's being conducted currently in the Netherlands. Um, in that study, um, the uh, PCV13 is being studied with respect to pneumonia. Uh, pneumococcal pneumonia is really the holy grail. That is what we would like to be preventing since it's much more pervasive than invasive pneumococcal disease. Um, but unfortunately, most studies really look at invasive pneumococcal disease as the outcome rather than pneumonia. So this study is very, very important because if we could show that the vaccine uh, prevents pneumonia in adults, something that's been very difficult to show with any of the pneumococcal vaccines, um, then we would really have good evidence uh, on which to base the recommendation.